A warning today about a dangerous new designer drug targeting kids. Good afternoon, I'm Katherine Hauser. And I'm Chris McKinnon. This drug is cheap, but it can also be deadly. It's called N-Bomb, and Everett police say they've now caught two kids with it. Nicole Jacobs is live in Everett with the story, new at noon. Nicole. Well, Chris, fortunately, these two situations were not dire, but authorities were able to intervene before they turned tragic. Now police say this is the time parents should talk to their school-aged children. It's new and it's potentially deadly. We've had our first experiences with uh, this past Friday night. A drug appealing to young people, synthetic in nature and considered designer, making its way through hands in Everett. Could look like candy, um, little pill forms uh, or uh, stamps. Some people compare it to LSD from the old days. It's called N-Bomb. Everett Police Chief Steve Mazie says his officers have already made an arrest of someone under the influence. One individual uh, ran into a house uh, that, that he did not live in, uh, broke into a house, uh, alarmed the residents. Uh, he left that house. He got cut up. Uh, from glass when he when he departed the house. Inbom is cheap, no more than five dollars to access in most cases, but the side effects, according to the chief, are horrific. And he exemplified uh, pretty disturbing behavior. Um, he was foaming at the mouth, uh, very erratic behavior, made no sense to the officers. And there was yet another episode just minutes later. Police believe the two boys know each other. In the second case, we had an individual crawling around in the middle of the street uh, with just a pair of shots on. Again, very erratic behavior, wasn't making sense. Across the country, three teenagers have died. As the summer months approach, Chief Macy says there's no better time for parents to talk to their kids. Now we want people to make good decisions so they don't uh, end up in the hospital. These have been the only two incidents here in Everett. Police do confirm they were both high school students. One was a minor. The other, he says, was simply a medical call, so he is not releasing their names. We're live in Everett this afternoon. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News. Nicole.